Breaking news. Breaking news. Nate Butkus isn't your average six-year-old. I love homework. I can tell. I would probably like to stop climate change. I don't like pizza. You don't like pizza? I don't like pizza. Are you really six years old? I am like six 60 years, years old. Years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's really six. And he's really into science. Hey guys, I'm very excited for another episode of Show About Science. This is your host, Nate. You might recognize the Chicago area podcast host. He's kind of famous for a first grader. So why did you decide to do a podcast on science? Well, science has been my favorite topic since I was three. You have a pretty good podcast. <laughs> what, why, what would you tell someone who's never heard of it? They can learn about science, cool things about science. Nate's show includes the obviously cool topics like ants and alligators. Can a person shake hands with an alligator? And the less obviously cool, like CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeat. You know what? I heard that you were going to talk about CRISPR today. Yes, I was. And I had to Google it. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I know. If I don't know anything about CRISPR, can you explain it to me? It's basically, say I take this is blonde hair, I want to turn it into red hair. I'll just go snip, snip with the, the blonde hair gene, and then I'll replace that with the red hair gene. You know blondes have more fun, though, so you shouldn't go red hair, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that is a very good way of explaining how to gene edit. Is that scary or is that cool? It's both at the same time. Why is it scary? Well, it's scary because like we'll all have the same gene, but it's cool because we can edit people the way we want to. Well, so that also means like, say if there's like something bad in your genes, like cancer, you can edit that exactly. out. Exactly, or if you have like hemophilia, you'll definitely want to use a gene drive to like make sure that none of your children will have hemophilia. Is there anyone that is your age that likes to talk about CRISPR? No. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I, I just have a passion for it. Like, it's in my DNA. So you don't want to edit that part of your DNA? No, no, definitely <laughs> not. I was just a warm-up for this whiz. After some lab work. They're still live. Show and tell. Barack Obama gave me this one, and Hillary Clinton gave me this one. And unwinding with a relaxing book of Nate's choice, which was Stalin-era Russian fiction. Kiss Klavu. Klavu. Nate went on to chat about CRISPR with another probable genius named Kevin Svelte from MIT. So, is there anything that we should be concerned of with CRISPR? Basically, what is the gene drive? What's beyond our, our limits and what's not? There doesn't seem to be much beyond Nate's limits. Do you already know what, what you want to do when you're older? Oh, definitely um, science. Science something? Yeah. Probably like biochemistry, chemistry, CRISPR. That's yeah. pretty cool that you already know that and you're only six. <laughs> it's so cool that to have like two cameras in my face. <laughs> But it's my hypothesis, once Nate shows the world what's in his heart, it will shine even brighter than what's in his brain. You want to show me what's in the box? Yes. Okay, so it's a very nice box. What's inside? Is this your box? Um, yes. For, it's basically my quote box. Your quote box? What's in it? Quotes! We shall stand up for what we believe in and not let it down. And if that doesn't inspire you, maybe this will. L equals E squared.